Okay, so I'm not gonna talk very long because everything I'm doing is not making any fucking difference. I, I, I just am so mind blown by this. This is why I'm coming to just do an update. I would tell anybody, if you um, have an Apple phone, go in and clean up your iCloud because this is some bullshit. So, for one thing, when I went to go to the phone place, then um, that guy, he had no interest, no interest at all in working. Even when I got there, he hadn't even opened the door yet. He had to still open it and he was so frustrated that somebody was coming there to make him work. And he did everything to be like, oh no, you, no, like, you, you're gonna have to pay 700 down, even on my daughter's account, <laughs> like bullshit. So, um, because he said I had to pay for this extra memory, of course, this memory, uh, memory that is doing everything for us. So he said that I would have to get on a computer and go on to iCloud and clean out my iCloud. So I talked to my daughter, um, to see if she could do it on her computer. Cause I don't even have a computer and, um, she was traveling. So she said, you know, she would help me when she got home. And you know, when it's your problem, you want everybody to just drop what they're doing and come to your rescue. And when people don't, it messes with your head. <laughs> like you like you have things that you have to work through from expectation, anticipation, you know, uh, what you desire influencing other people's day and time, you know, like, so anyways, I had all this stuff that I had to keep processing in the mix of all this stuff. And so, uh, you know, I went into, I spent two days on my phone deleting photos and videos. You have to go through all the stuff. Once you get stuff deleted, you have to go in and re-delete it because you have to go into the deleted files and re-delete the whole thing again. It fucking takes hours and hours if you're going to go through and look at pictures and pick which ones you're going to delete, right? So, um, did that two days. It was making no difference is not, you know, it's not giving me any space on my phone. Like it could go off at any second. It won't, it just stops because it says I have no space. And so space, it's weird, huh? How these certain words. And so then, um, it, you know, I was frustrated because I, my daughter couldn't help me and stuff because she's busy with her stuff. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to see if I can get on this iCloud thing on my phone. And so I got on it, went in it, doesn't have a place to take off all these apps. Like, why does it show it in the iCloud storage that it's storing these apps? Where? You can't get them off your phone. The guy told me I had to go on to the, I, um, the iCloud to take them off. He said, oh, go down to the iPhone store. No not doing that iphone store i'm i'm so irritated right now about this whole apple and you know, iphone and bullshit I, I, there's so many things i'm so irritated about there's so many things i want to oh, i just want to go off on everything and it's so I, I feel like i'm in a steam bath right now i don't know what they're doing to my area it is so freaking it's not hot it's humid it's so steamy. I have giant spiders now, giant ass fucking spiders that are doing these huge webs covering the walkway. I can't see, you know, I'll just walk right into them. Like, huge ones. I got, I want to get a video of this one. It just made this most giant web going from one house to the next and just going across this giant ass spider. Oh my God, I just feel, in my heart won't start, won't stop pounding about a million miles a second. I feel like this so, like, oh, 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 like, I don't even know how to explain these feelings I'm having. I think a lot of people would perceive it like anxiety, but I don't feel anxious. I feel like it's, it's really excitable energy that it just doesn't even know what it's doing. So I feel like this intense energy, this weird weather here. It, yes, last night it was like orange outside, like before a tornado, when it would turn orange, it, it was totally orange outside and it looks so weird. And then in the middle of the night, it was so fucking hot. I got up and I turned on the big fan thing and, um, still today it's the same thing. It is so freaking 
humid and so sticky and so eerie and so creepy. Just listen. Like, I don't know. It's just, if it's not the workmen pounding and making noise and alarms going off, it's just silence. Like, you don't hear birds or anything. Like, oh, I'm so frustrated. I am so frustrated. And so, then I went on to um, the iCloud. Deleted. Uh, I've been doing it all since, I don't know, four or five this morning for hours and hours. It was 11... I think, I think I stopped around, I think it was 11, 11 when I stopped, um, and made a cup of tea. And then I, uh, decided, well, I'll just record. Cause this is going to take me a long, long time to keep doing this because I deleted half of my photos. Like, I don't know, a thousand videos or something. And it has not even changed it. It still says that it's full. It says on the iCloud that I've used up two terabytes. It, but now I've freed up 180 gigabytes out of two terabytes with all of that stuff I deleted. I deleted half of the freaking stuff and it has made no difference. And on my phone, it hasn't even changed it at all. It just still stays up at the thing that my storage is too full. So, and I'm not going to go to the fucking iStore. I, I swear, I, I think what I'll do is I'll just try and buy some cheap ass laptop and then I will download my iCloud onto that, move all my videos into a file, and then just clean sweep my phone, just take everything off. But I gotta have somewhere to put my videos because I sure the hell can't trust YouTube. They can just take everything and they're not gonna give it back. When Facebook took down my thing, I didn't get anything back. Nothing was recovered, your shit's just gone. Somebody else owns it. In YouTube, it'd be the same thing. They take down my channel and TikTok's already done it once. Uh, next door, Twitter, all that stuff. When they take your shit down, it's just your shit's gone. And so that's a lot of freaking um, videos. Like it says on my YouTube thing, 1500. And I know some of those are shorts and some of them are ones I've shared of other people's stuff. I would say I probably at least have 1200 videos of me talking which I don't know, to me, I don't wanna lose all of these videos. I mean, we haven't even got to the part of the awakening. I feel kind of like this, it just gets weird. But I feel like there is this, like this energy that is trying to do this on purpose. Like they, they're trying to control information. And my information isn't my information. My information comes from my guides and I'm sharing what they give me. And I think that they don't want that information out there. And so I swear, it is just, it's weird. The whole thing is weird. But I feel protective over my videos. Like I've got to protect my videos at all costs. And that may sound crazy and egotistical. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, all of my paintings, like I, when I went into my pictures, there was some stupid shit in there for sure. I mean, I can definitely see, like, I'll take, you know, three pictures of the same thing. Make sure I get a good shot. So, there was tons of that. There was tons of, um, so many sky pictures. So many of nature and just beautiful stuff that I found beautiful in nature. Oh, my gosh. So many pictures of that. Pictures of vacations. All sorts of stuff. While I was deleting all this stuff, like, it's breaking your heart. Deleting, like, so much stuff. And... You know, I just sitting there going, you got to stay present. Even if I were to just go back and try and look through all of these pictures, I'm trying to live in the past, but I got to still be in the moment. So, you know, I, I, as I'm going through, you know, Portugal and I'm deleting all these pictures and I'm just like, you know, well, I didn't, what have I done with those pictures since I've had them? I shared some. It's not like I pull them out and start looking at them. So I was just getting this whole thing about photos and being present and, you know, us saving it, trying to capture moments. I still, I, I've got all these photos of Stella and videos. Oh, so many. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe how many I've taken over just sleeping. Oh, so nuts. And especially like right now while she's been so sick and I'm like, I don't know how much time I have left with her. 
she still is completely drooping on one side and running in, you know, you can tell something's off and um, still whining. And so I don't know. I don't know about brain tumor. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, my daughter, the one, her dog who had the liver cancer, well, they did surgery yesterday. It wasn't liver cancer. It was spleen. When they were in there, the tumor ruptured, which normally will kill the dog. They got it out, but they still don't know if it was um, um, benign or if it was, um, you know, the other thing. I can't even think. So she said that... Um, the doctor said that if it is malignant, that the dog only has a couple weeks to live because the the tumor rupturing puts all of the gunk inside their body or something. So, you know, now she's faced with, you know, she doesn't know if her dog, well, she's got to wait till the results come in. The results come in next week and they'll either tell her it was benign or malignant. So she's waiting on that to see. She doesn't know, like, is he going to die, like, in a week or two, you know? And so, you know, I don't, I don't know. I've just got so much stuff on my fucking mind right now. And I just feel so weird. I feel so weird. And I feel, like, frustrated as fuck. Like, going in and just spending all this time, like, deleting your, your history, deleting your past, watching pictures of people go... You know, even though it was a lot of pictures that were double, still, when you have to go back in, and you delete them. Then you have to go in and re-delete it. It's like this whole huge step. And then I had like 4,000 on there, and I tried to select them all to re-delete them. No, you can only do a 1,000 at a time. So I had to go in and manually delete all those until I got down to a 1,000. So I think I, when I started deleting, I was like at 5,000, somewhere around there somewhere either going towards six I think and then when I started deleting them all then um you know it's just taking a long fucking time but it is just sad it's like you delete them and then you have to do it again and I don't know it just kind of rips at your heart but I would definitely tell anybody like this iPhone bullshit and this iCloud is no joke like you just don't realize it until it catches up with you apparently because even when they said mine was full, it's like, I don't know. The whole concept is just weird. Like, oh, your stuff's just going into the iCloud. Okay, where's the iCloud and where's my stuff? And then you just think like it's this vast thing. But they give you very limited. Because even when I was looking at it, it was like, you get five gigabytes for free. Which obviously, that doesn't hold shit. And then you have to pay for it after that. But two terabytes, that's it. That's the top of the line. You can't go past that. Then you have to, and your phone can't go past whatever storage it has. And I'll tell you another fucking thing. That even on the phone where it has like my videos, well, then it makes a whole nother category that calls it selfies and puts it in both things. You go and try and delete it out of selfies, it takes it off the videos. It's a fucking scam. It is absolutely a fucking scam. The whole fucking thing and every goddamn thing that they do is just to create more depression, more anxiety, more frustration. They want us to sit here and go round and round in this shit. They don't want us to be able to get anything together. And, you know, and I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm just so shocked at how many people are willing to just take such abuse and want to remain in a system that don't even think that they can make it without like you got to have a walmart and a jack-in-the-box and applebee's nearby or you know it's not even living it's like oh my god my my concept or idea of life and living is so much different than some of these people and i, I don't know it does you know if, if we are at this time where it is the two the two different realities are separating in the people who want to play out this tyranny you know i i don't know they just stay here with this and they just continue to play it out and we all just continue to become independent and sovereign we go out and start trying to build communities and they hold on to these 
people who I I got I get these like books or movies or stories or something. If I was more organized, I swear I could write some books about this shit. But like right now, you could do such a good book about what is happening and about the people like us all going out and looking for places because I was like, we need to stake a claim, which staking a claim, you know, is you just go out and say, hey, this is my land now, right here, this is it. And we all start going and doing it. And we just start forming communities, creating like a tribe. So, but then I was like in a, in the movie, like, man, these the, the people who want to control us, could send dro drones over and I, I just see the people all running and having to hide and go into caves and stuff like I don't think it's going to keep playing out this way this is what's weird is like because there's this division occurring where those people really do you know trust the government trust the system want to participate want to just keep everything the way it is and you have this other group that is like, no, I do not want any of this. I want freedom. I value time. I don't value things as much as I value my time and what I do with it and how I spend it with people and stuff. So, I don't know. <sighs> but I just, I wanted to kind of, and, and even to download uh, one of these videos, I have to stay on YouTube and some of these videos have taken me like five hours to download. And if I go off of YouTube, then it will stop downloading it. Like, I don't know. Is this just the solar flashes happening that is giving me all this grief? A bit? Is it some other kind of energy? Is it part of the spiritual warfare? I, don't, I seriously don't. I don't know. I mean, everything to me seems just kind of supernatural and vague and... But it's, I feel like we're on a locomotive moving quick. I feel like everything is moving fast. And, you know, it doesn't mean that we're going to have everything we want right away. But I do feel like this is, is kind of like two locomotives coming. They're going to crash at this same intersection where everything is just piling up and piling up. And weirdly enough, there was a train derailment the other day. So... Anyways, and I think that they are 100% trying to, um, you know, take us down by place by place. You know, we do a flood over here, cause all those people to be out of their homes, you know, lose their things that they can, you know, those things. Because, I, I mean, if a person's house is flooded, I mean, what are they saving? Are they running in and saving those and where do they keep them? Like everybody should be getting like gun safes or something, putting them somewhere safe because I think that's what they're doing is trying to create the chaos. Each place to take us out one by one, go in, take the um, disarming all of these different people and then they can go in for the attack. So, you know, I don't know. That's what it seems like they're doing to me. Um, and, oh, there was another thing that just came into my mind. I just feel, I feel weird. I, I, I just, I'm not even going to keep talking. I just feel weird. And I don't know if it's just because my brain is just fried from all of this deleting and emotions. Or if it, it ain't just the weirdness out here. Um, But they, oh, and also yesterday when I drove into town, there were so many dead trees along the way. Oh my gosh, so many. And, and you know, I kept worrying about a fire and thinking, well, it's weird because they're not turning it up enough. Like, like the past couple of days they had the sun being really hot, but like today it's not out there and it's fucking hot as shit. And so I, at first I was thinking, you know, they were preparing us for a fire. But then I started thinking, oh, windstorm. They've already done the flood. And, you know, I mean, they can come in with the fire anytime. But a windstorm, because they keep having this crazy weather and weather systems hit in and then make this big windstorm. And a windstorm, since especially we only have certain roads that we can even get out, 
like we don't we have very limited ways to to leave and blocking those like they've blocked them so many times like in the last windstorm you got trapped and in the floods they had it trapped like there was roads that were washing out on all the different ways there was so if the windstorm goes and it goes across this, the roads and you can't get through takes down uh, uh, lines it's not safe to go out and how do the electric people get over some of the electricity will go off but i mean there's live wires out there when that shit happens so i don't know you know there's no telling what they're going to do i say you just got to be prepared for anything just have the awareness like until they are taken out and we'll know they're taken out because it will be dramatic and until then we're all just have to continue being under attack you know and i don't know i i feel like it's close today's the 19th so tomorrow's the 20th 20th was supposed to be some big thing I don't know. It feels weird enough. Like nothing would surprise me. Like it would surprise me today if everything switched and went the other direction. If something huge happened. But I don't know. But I'm not in any state to be talking. <laughs> I'm just all fucking burnt out. But I just wanted to let y'all know that tomorrow hope, I'm going to work on trying to delete more stuff today and see if I can get it down more. And then once I do that, then hopefully tomorrow morning I can get up and just have a normal morning. I'll check and see what's going on on TikTok. And then I will, you know, tell you guys what I see and what I'm thinking and pick up on the energy and how, you know, where I feel like everything is at. But just, you know, just keep on working on yourself. Like I, I was really surprised yesterday how many things were coming up it wasn't like triggers. It was just because it used to be. But it was like these things would come up and then you just think about them. And you look at them and you think about like how you feel this way and why would you feel that way. And you just kind of analyze it or dissect your own emotions to the situation. It's not like there's right or wrong. It's just an awareness that you have. And when you have the awareness of what you're doing and why... Then you can evaluate, self-evaluation. Well, do I want to do that? Who do I want to be? Do I want to be somebody who's whiny and demanding and say, hey, you better make time for me and you better do what I need. Put yourself aside. No, that's not me. So then, you know, you have to go in and it's just everything is taking the time to self-analyze, to look at your own behavior and to recognize it. And, and remember, it's not about being right or wrong. It's just an awareness. Everything that is happening is about increasing our awareness to who and what we are, what we're doing, how we're living, what we do with our time, what we do with our money, how we treat people that we love. So all of that stuff, it's all there for us to, to, um, to grow and empower ourselves and to evolve in this you know, this ascension is happening, this awakening. So anyways, which I think it could also be called the awareness project. So anyway, we can name it, name it, all sorts of names. But anyways, I'm going to, and I'm not even, I'm not really sure. This one, this shampoo is this, it's called uh, Earthling. This is shampoo bars. And I saw both of the ones on TikTok, the Viora which is the rice shampoo. And this one um, is a bunch of stuff, natural stuff. Um, but I don't know. It just feels like, I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the, I, ha I have both. So I'm going to see if I'm going to pick one. I'm not going to keep getting them both. I, I think I like, I don't know. It's weird because it really does get sudsy. It gets way more sudsy than the detergent shampoos that we buy, you know, and so, but then, you know, once I rinse it out and stuff, I always feel like it feels like, I don't know, I feel like it still looks like oily-ish and it still is, um, I don't know, I don't know, 
I swear I shouldn't even be talking today. So anyways, I'm just going to go back to deleting pictures on my phone and, you know, hope everybody's having a, getting through it. I'm not going to say oh, hopefully everybody's having a good day. I've seen some people out there, there's spiritual people, oh, you know, this is, get out there and really enjoy this and stuff like that. I can't get out here and enjoy shit at my place. So don't get caught up and you're doing something wrong or something because some people, you know, they don't, they don't know what's going on in each person's place and everybody has its own individual uh, reality happening and you know we, it's not a one size fits all so just be true to yourself recognize what's going on in your world and then you do what you want to do you know and there's a lot of people out there telling everybody what to do so Anyways, that sounds like what I'm doing too. You do you. <laughs> and so, anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.